Game Arms Sports Cage is brought to you by Country Grocer. You'll feel like family. Welcome back to Game On. I am Jeff. This is Paul, and we are so happy to welcome Dale Purinton uh, to the show tonight. Thanks for coming in. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but when you uh, came here to play with the Salmon Kings all those years ago, you fell in love with this island and actually uh, purchased a place way back then. So you're not new to, the, to Vancouver Island. You've been here for years now. Yeah, I was, um, you know, obviously coming from Alberta. Um, it was, it was, I was during the lockout, and um, I was out at my farm close to Edmonton. And October is minus 35, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and wow. I got I got a I got a phone call um, from Brian Maxwell, yeah. who who coached me for the Lethbridge Hurricanes, and um, you know I, I surprisingly I, lo I left a lot of stuff at the cabin, um, speeding <laughs> really to get here. out of there to get here. Yeah. Um, looked up uh, around the Cowichan area, and we uh, found a home, and and you know right away we knew. Um, being here a couple months, yeah. we wanted to make this uh, home. Not a bad place. Absolutely. Now, talking about Couch and Cow Valley Capitals, now uh, head coach of that team. Uh, you kind of took over there this year, and uh, you guys didn't make the playoffs, but it was kind of a learning experience for you and, and I guess, the team. How, uh, how was that? You know, it's, it, is, it is a big learning experience. Obviously, when I, when I retired from hockey, um, you know, I was out a year, and, and I really wanted to get back into minor hockey and give back. I, I had really... Um, no dreams of really coaching junior hockey. I just wanted to get back and be part of the community right. and, and, you know, meet the kids and be around. And, and you did that at first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Some I did. And, and this, stuff, yeah. uh, this opportunity um, uh, arose, and, and obviously you want to jump at that chance um, to, to be around, uh, you know, junior hockey. It's a, yeah. To be able to come in here and, and be part of the BCHL is, is a pretty special experience, obviously. Um, you know, now a year, year and a half into it, um, I'm going to call every coach I ever had and apologize for any <laughs> for any grief I I gave them. Um, so that's every coach, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and maybe twice I'll call I'll call I'll call some twice, <laughs> really? but it's it is it is a lot, and it's a lot more people think. I you know, even as players, you think, oh, this would be great, but yeah. the, the stress. Um, just, you know, you're always asking yourself, you question yourself, am I doing enough for this guy? You know, mm -hmm. you, even if you have times where you're winning or even on winning teams, you know, are you getting, are you giving your guys enough and, and are they learning enough? Are you getting enough out of them? So, um, you know, you, you can see the big picture because you've been there, um, but it's, it is a very tough tough road. And I, I want to ask you this because it's way bigger than hockey when you're a junior coach because you're grooming young men and they have mm -hmm. uh, problems off the ice and there's a lot of other things that go along with it as well and I bet you that's been a huge learning curve as well is each player and their needs and you know you, you, the way you react with each player is probably a little different. It is and and even from when I played to, to junior hockey now um, you have to learn each individual right you have to have boundaries for everyone the same but you have to know, um, you know, what you can get out of each guy, what their needs are. You know, every kid comes from a different uh, background. When I played, we were so scared. When, even when I played for Brian Maxwell, yeah, so scared, scared to, of the to, coach. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was the best behaved guy you've ever seen. You know, if, he, if he said something, you did oh, it. Oh, I bet with that. Oh, but it, but that, it is different, and yeah. these kids do have options. Yeah. And, and and but you know the what the rewards, what you can get out of this game, and, and what you know what can happen, and and. You know the scholarships and the really they're, they can set the foundation for their life. Right. It's it is a very special thing to be part of and and, well, and I really enjoy it. It's a little more. It's it's more. Uh, don't do as I do. Do as I say <laughs> because I've been there and back. And and we do want to get into that right now yeah. in your NHL career. And uh, you know you played almost 200 games in, in the NHL. Four goals. Four, four, four goals. Yeah. Do you remember every one of them? Do you remember yeah, surprisingly, <laughs> uh, we could uh, run these down. And really? I could, you can tell us the goaltenders? Play play, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you what I ate for breakfast that day. <laughs> <laughs> you ate it for the rest of the year. Yeah. Tell, tell me about NHL that? highlights and, uh, and you know, uh, some great memories that you had from playing in the show. Oh, I mean, there, there is so many. Um, you know, you, your, your first game, the first anthem, like, you know, you know thinking of your whole life that... Um, is Early down to this practices oh. and yeah, all and it, yeah, and, and just uh, that the, your first national anthem, um, and you're trying to really like you know you're emotional, you know, your family's sure. there, and, and you're thinking about it. it's 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 a special moment. Um, but really, throughout it all, it's the guys you meet, right? Yeah. That's and that's that's what I miss. Um, obviously, we're, you stay in touch and you make friends for life. 
Um, but that's you miss coming to the rink. You miss sitting in the dressing rooms and and um, you know buses, planes. It's, yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's uh, it's not so much the game. Um, that that's fun as well. But it's it's the guys you get I to guess. be part of, and and it's a very special time. And, and fortunate for me, um, you know, I got to play in New York City, and mm-hmm. yeah. and that itself, um, that's a that's a different. Uh, that's a different show altogether. Oh, Unbelievable. We can we can run down the best bakeries, the best pizzerias, <laughs> you know, the best steakhouses. We can go on and really, on, yeah. but it's it's a pretty neat city. Well, yes. it's it's I mean it's nerve wracking just to to start. Les, you mentioned that first game, but how much more nerve wracking was it being a tough guy in that situation? Because you knew that you had to fight. You knew that you had to go out there and be a force an enforcer out there. What was uh, what was that feeling like? Um, sometimes. You know, sometimes you do have to know when, but uh, what my favorite thing was is one of my favorite memories as a coach. He didn't tell me to go out and fight, but I, I look at the clock, my name was called, and it's 4 1, and there's two minutes left on the clock, and I'm looking up at the scoreboard, and the, um, he's like, Go up on the wing. And I'm like, What the? I haven't played in like 15 minutes. I look over the board, and there's just some animal there drooling. I couldn't really be like, He didn't, he, he didn't really be like, Hey, you want to fight? You yeah, sort of knew funny. that. You knew what you had to yeah, do. Yeah. Like the crowd's going nuts. So it wasn't like, Yeah, yeah I'm going to just, you know, I'm yeah. trying to get a shot on that here. You know, like, yeah. I might as well just left my stuff in the bench. But that's not the message. You know, you know all that is great. And it's part of your career. And, you, and that was good for that time. But now the game's so different. Different. Was there one particular moment or just playing with a special player that really sticks out uh, kind of uh, higher than the others? When I was 17 or 18, I went to my first NHL camp and yeah. we, we had our camp in Burlington, Vermont for eight years. This this was, you know, one one of our camps. We had uh, we had Messier, we had uh, LaFontaine, we had uh, Gretzky, you know, wow. so um, Buka Boom, all these, you yeah. know, all these and guys. you're just that, a kid. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I was 17 turning 18, and, uh, and yeah. I was in my own head. I said, if, if, this is, uh, if this is, you know, all I ever do, then I'm, I'm I've made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, it's pretty special. But that's going to help you as a coach as well. I mean, you were, you were mentioning you, you've got the best seat in the house there, and you're really kind of a student. You understand the whole game. That's probably going to help you as a coach. You know, for a guy like myself, is how how can you compete against skill like that? Well, you really have to be positionally sound. Yeah. You have to be in unbelievable shape, and and you just have to you know learn how to contain and and but just that I, that I got to play with those guys and how hard they work. That my young players don't have excuses not to work that hard. Folks at home want to know about the inaugural season with the Salmon Kings, and I mean, uh, you know, there was a lot of growing pains there, but I'll tell you what, it was entertaining, if nothing else. That was an entertaining season of hockey. The characters, yourself, Brian Maxwell, you know, Greg Batters was, you know, a guy that's uh, legendary in this town. Tell me about uh, some of the highs and lows, and tell me about that that, that first season. What do you look back at? What What are the big memories? Well... One is, um, I think I probably matched my goals total. Yeah, you for, did. Yeah, in that yeah. one season. You know, it's it's tough, right? Because we, we we had a, a fairly um, skilled team. You know, we we really underachieved in and. Um, you know, discipline, everything, but mm-hmm. uh, Danny Blackburn, two blockers. Yeah, know, that'll Blackburn. never, that'll never blocker, be seen again here in <laughs> Victoria. Not. We could do a two-hour documentary <laughs> on that sure. first year, and of yeah. course that big bench-clearing brawl yeah. uh, that pe- you know people don't uh, forget about that. Maybe walk us through that night Just as far happened. as yeah, well, yeah. I've been in a few of those, surprisingly, throughout my career. <laughs> really? um, but, Shocker. You know, that... Uh, <laughs> It start. It start. We. I think we played. I think we played that team three times yeah. in a row, and um, it was escalating. So the initial fight breaks out, and it was pretty rough. And um, kids crying in the stands. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. So I, I hear. There. Yeah, I hear yeah. Some, some people like it, but you know those those days are gone. And yeah. what you are on the ice and what you're off are, are totally oh, different yeah. things, Absolutely. right? Definitely. So um, that was, um, uh, uh, I guess, a fun experience in yeah. a way. Mm-hmm. Um, that I hope is out of the game now, I guess. Yeah. Like that's Well, I mean, you mentioned to, to take away those headshots and things like that, that you need to take the hitting out of the game, but you, you do think that fighting should remain in the game. Kind of explain the, the rationale there. Well, I just believe that there, there will be hits even if it's taken out, and, yeah. and more the fighting just to be able to defend your player. The instigating has to go, and yeah. I, I believe um, body checking has to go. Yeah. Well, I hate to do this. we got to wrap this thing up. Yeah. Of course, we're out of time. Dale, thanks so much for coming in. You better come like, back. Yeah. It was great thanks having so you in tonight. Thanks for having me. Thanks for putting us uh, in a headlock, and uh, that <laughs> was a lot of hurts. fun. Dale Purinton, of course, uh, <laughs> head coach with the Couch and Valley Capitals, and I uh, would love having you here on the island. Thanks for coming in tonight. Thank that you. That is another edition of Game On. Join us each and every Monday night. It is Game On. Good night.